British medical doctors are warning that hundreds of ventilators from China could kill virus patients. In a Thursday NBC report, the doctors said the machines are faulty and unsuitable. The pandemic has prompted many in Europe to reflect on how they got into this mess and for the EU to revisit its trade relationship with China. For some, it's important to understand how the regime works. I grew up in the communist part of Germany, so I know the rules of the game in communist systems very well. Since March, many European governments have struggled to buy medical equipment, like masks and testing kits, to fill up large gaps in their supply. And they often had to rely on China. It exports a quarter of the world's masks. Some of these Chinese-made products are faulty or unsuitable. In mid-April, a German company found 11 million masks they had bought from China were unusable. We have to ensure that we do not remain this dependent on China. Prices alone cannot regulate such a thing. Then we are walking into a trap. After China joined the World Trade Organization in 2001, it gradually established its domination of crucial supply chains, including medical goods and drugs. China now provides up to 90% of the world's active ingredients for antibiotics. Many are concerned about the leverage the CCP has on countries' healthcare systems. It would be the worst thing if China one day says, so, and if you don't do as we wish, we won't supply you anymore. We must not be naive and blind and ignore the dangers that are always associated with dealing with a dictatorship. Prompted by the crisis, many in Europe are seeing more clearly the risks that come with economic dependence on China. Two weeks ago, EU trade ministers agreed it was important to diversify Europe's production processes to reduce the reliance on individual countries of supply. In Europe, we will need to strive for a different kind of production and supply. That means self-sufficiency with essential goods, even if it's more expensive. But then we know what we've got. We cannot be blackmailed with it. We cannot get into an emergency situation. Some in Europe see the risks and downsides start to outweigh the economic opportunities from investing in China. Europe has reduced its share in manufacturing exports since integrating trade with China. European companies still face significant barriers in accessing the Chinese market, and many who are already there, like BMW, have seen only stagnating revenue growth. Analysts at the Mercator Institute for China Studies argue that China is just as dependent on Europe and that the EU should leverage its economic power in dealing with the CCP. Reporting by Christian Watchen, NTD News, Berlin.